Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you the difference between round beets and cylindrical beets and also talk to you about what cat facing is on a tomato. It's early morning, July 12th here, and one of the things I like to do is go out into the garden and really look at, um, well one, the plants, make sure there's no diseases, but see what's going on. I like looking at the insects, and that's a pretty cool looking spider in there, which is good for the garden. It will catch aphids and, you know, white flies if you have them and other flying insects that you may not want in a garden. Beets come in several different kinds of varieties you can get. Um, sometimes orange beets, there's blood beets back there with a dark red leaf. Those leaves are great for salads. But as for the shape of the beet, you can get round beets and cylindrical beets. There's a cylindrical beet coming out of the ground. And over on this side, I have your standard red beet that I'm sure you know what that looks like. This is going to be picked today and go into the probably go on a grill and this is a cylindrical beet. The only real difference is the shape. They taste pretty much the same. This is great for slicing if you just want uniformed round beet slices for whatever you're serving or cooking. Cat facing is something that happens with tomatoes. It happens a lot more with the heirloom variety and you can see the bottom of that tomato is just really really distorted. That's not a disease. That's nothing to worry about and it usually comes sometimes with temperature changes when the uh, flower is, is pollinating itself. Sometimes it's just something that happens during pollination. But you can see that it's just very, very distorted. Lots of brown marks, but that tomato will taste as good as the tomatoes up there that are much smoother, look like your standard tomato. So I wouldn't worry too much if you have a really ugly looking tomato. Sometimes that happens with heirlooms. Um, the flavor will make up for any kind of deformity. Sometimes when they breed out this or try and make a tomato that's much smoother, you pay the price by having a less flavorful tomato. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.